When Ariana was 12 months old, her one-year checkup, the pediatrician noticed that she hadn't grown since the nine-month checkup. When we'd bathe him in the tub, you know, we would notice that his belly was distended. At the time, his um, moods would go from wildly happy to really cranky and onerous. Terrible diaper rashes, a lot of skin breakdown, and we called the pediatrician, and he said, well, let's put her on an elimination diet. So the first thing we tried was just to feed her a few foods. Of course, one of the foods was just plain saltines, which we now know had wheat in it, and that was making the problem worse. But we limited her to a few foods and tried to write down every time she threw up what she ate every day, and um, they couldn't figure it out. We could tell something was wrong. Right. And I said, I need you to look at Mitchell. I asked Mitchell to pull up his shirt and and the practitioner says, oh my gosh, like, you know, there's something wrong there. And I said, yeah, there's something wrong there. You know, I, I'm a nurse, so I said, you know, I, I think I've heard about something like that when in nursing school, but I couldn't tell you what it is. I have no idea what it is. But I had never heard of celiac disease or gluten. Yeah. Never heard of anything. I didn't like know that. any details about it. Celiac and cystic fibrosis were sort of the leading um, candidates for her disease. They uh, took some blood work they'd actually done a few days before and uh, determined that in fact she had celiac disease. That was the worst thing that had ever happened to us and it was it was very uncomforting. It was not comforting at all to hear people say, oh that's not so bad. You know, because to us it was really bad. It was very hard. It was very emotional. Um, we, I, I personally suffered a lot of guilt over it, even though I know rationally that I didn't. I did everything I could at the time. It just was extremely overwhelming. I remember sitting down at the kitchen table and crying, thinking, "What am I going to feed him? And and if I do it wrong, I'm am I poisoning him?" At the beginning, it does seem really hard to figure out what has hidden gluten in it and what doesn't, but that it really gets easier over time, especially as you build up your knowledge. We worked a lot with Mitchell on, on his attitude towards his diet because I didn't want him to feel sorry for himself or anyone else to feel sorry for him because it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be healthy, you're gonna be happy. There's plenty of food. You're not gonna be deprived of cookies or candy or any of the really good things that you think your friends are eating because you can have them just gluten free. The real silver lining is that the whole family eats healthier. You're more likely to have broccoli, chicken, and rice rather than just ordering a pizza. Um, so there is a real silver lining. I think that uh, I'm not a celiac, but I'm much healthier because there's one in the house. It just becomes your way of life, and it really isn't that hard once you learn how to do everything. Yeah, that's the bottom line. Once you understand what you can feed your child, that's what you buy and that's what you feed them. Right. Simple as that. Within a week after Within a week. taking the gluten out of his diet. He was a completely he, different child. Yeah. Ariana gained three pounds in three weeks as soon as she was on the gluten-free diet. And she never threw up again. Not once. <laughs>